Hi, I'm Kim and today we are making blondie. These are chewy, crunchy, and not too sweet and are the perfect snack to have. Sounds good? So let's get right into it. Start by lining your baking pan with parchment paper so that it will be easier for you to take it out later on. For your reference, I am using a 9 by 9 inch pan. Then we will set that aside. Now we'll start preparing our ingredients and here are the things you will need. We'll start off by toasting the nuts. I am using cashew nuts but feel free to use whatever nuts you have on hand. I toasted them at 180 degrees Celsius for about 5-ish minutes. I don't know but until they smell toasty and look golden like beef. Then set aside to cool. Next, we will prepare our dried mangoes. The perfect substitute for people who don't like raisins in their dessert. So cut these off into smaller pieces. Then set aside. Oh! Before I forget, start preheating your oven to 180 degrees Celsius so that it will be nice and warm by the time the blondies are ready to be baked. So moving on to the dry mixture. In a bowl, combine flour, cornstarch, and baking soda and whisk them together. Oops, looks like my bowl is too small. Okay, now that's better. Whisk together then set aside. In a bigger bowl, add in your melted butter then your brown and white sugars and the salt. I'm adding the salt here as mine is quite big. If your salt is fine, then you may add it together with the dry ingredients. Whisk it up until it's well combined. Add in your two eggs and optionally one tablespoon vanilla extract. Doesn't really make much of a difference, but that's just for me. Whisk again until well combined. Then sift your dry mixture into the batter. Oh my gosh. Sifting isn't a must, but I prefer doing it so as to prevent clumps of flour and potential creepy crawlies from going into the baked good. So using a spatula, fold the flour into the mixture until it is about 80% mixed. Once 80% mixed, add your mix ins like the dried mangoes and the nuts. You can save some bits to use for the topping. Then fold it in again making sure that it is evenly dispersed while also taking care not to over mix. Transfer the batter to the lined baking tray. Spread it out and smoothen the top. Top it with your leftover mix-ins, then we'll bake it off in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for approximately 30 to 35 minutes. Do this if you don't want your blondies to crack. Let it cool in the baking tray. But if you don't mind having cracks, then proceed. Regardless of whether there are cracks or not, it will still be just as tasty. Now while waiting for it to cool, you may leave to do your own thing. So many minions! Where's the binja? Oi, it's a party! You have snack. Look, after it has cooled, slice your blondies up into whatever size you want. I cut them up into 25 pieces by cutting 5 rows and 5 columns. And of course, plate it up. Time for the B-roll. I 
And so that's how we make blondies fresh from the cuisine. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, share the video with your friends, and comment what you would like to see in a future video. Bye!